Hello musicians, welcome back. My name is Bucky Dirtle and I am doing a video tutorial today on three, uh, three different modules by Audible Instruments. You can see right here, Audible Instruments. We're going to be doing the uh, mixer, we're going to be doing the quad VCA <clears throat> and quad VC polarizer. Very cool stuff. Now these um, these um, modules are based on the modules by Mutable Instruments, which is a very cool hardware uh, open source hardware um, modular maker. Been around for a while. Really, really cool modules uh, in the hardware world. Well, these modules here have been developed by VCV, uh, and they are um, they emulate what the hardware do hardware does. And they are, they're very, very cool. Also, I should mention that these modules are open source, as are all the modules that I've been showing you, but uh, the hardware is open source as well. So if you were a um, hardware, if you're a, um, you like doing some soldering, you can uh, build your own uh, hardware versions of these three and many more modules, the ones that are made by Mutable Instruments. You can get their... Um, information in the uh, github repository okay so let's get going i'm going to start with mixer mixer right here now i'm not going to be doing any audible sound in this uh tutorial i'm going to be using uh lfos because the lfos uh show on, on our scope the things that we want to see very clearly sometimes it's hard to hear it <clears throat> you can try yourself to see what it does but again this is not these tutorials are meant to be very technical they're not meant to be practical Here's how you make music with these um, with these tools. It's more about um, how they function. Okay, so first of all, the mixer. Now, this mixer here has three channels, um, and it's, it's a mixer. Uh, it's a uh, an inten uh, an attenuator, an attenuator. So we we can choose either. And I'm just going to show you this. What I'm talking about. If I set it uh, on the setting we have up here now at the top setting and I uh, have a dead center the the sound as you see coming from my uh, LFO in the in my scope it's nothing if I rotate it to the right it's going to give me a positive waveform if I load to rotate it to the left left it's giving me a negative so it's an attenuator so when it's at the top here uh, it, it it inverts the wave so I can do either or as you see and top dead center is zero. Now, if I do it to the switch to the other, then you can see all of a sudden I'm not zero anymore. And if I go, if I increase it, you can see I'm um, I'm making the the uh, waveform greater, the amplitude. Uh, and if I, oopsie daisy, sorry about that. If I rotate the um, uh, rotate it down, you can see it gets lower and lower and lower all the way down to the to bottom. So it's an attenuator. Uh, it's an attenuator. So um, we can choose between whichever we want and you can do each one differently you can choose number two number three you can mix a match um, another thing I'd like to mention about this is we have three in inputs down here on the bottom and if I <clears throat> if I have an input like let's say I have a I have a my yellow input number one is a sine wave my green input here at number two is a uh, a um, square wave and let me just do that so you can see my square wave. No, you can't. Oh, I'm adjusting the wrong one. Sorry, that was three. So if I have my, my uh, square wave like that. Now you'll see that my output for number one is showing you know, output number one. And my output for number two is showing output for number two. No problem. All good. Well, <clears throat> if I disconnect my number one here, what happens then is the input for number one and input for number two are coming together and they are being passed down this is daisy chain down in fact if I go down to number three it passes all the inputs all the way down to the bottom now you see the waveform it's an it's a, it's a sum of both of these waveforms the square wave and the sine wave if I was to bring in another wave it would do the same thing again it would sum the third as well but if I go back and I plug in boom it overwrites it and then what it does is it then it breaks up that sum it just gives me the one out and it'll give me the two or the three out 
I have the number two uh, empty, so it's going to number three. So um, so that's that. It's daisy chain down. So number two is going down to three, and number you know if I had plugged in number three, it would be the same. So um, there you go. Now. Um, Actually, I'm seeing that now, number three. Oh, okay, so it doesn't want to do that. It only wants to do it down. So it ha you have to fill the top as you go down. I didn't realize that. Okay, so maybe we go number three, take a saw wave, and I go into there. Oh, I know what's wrong. Sorry, sorry, misunderstanding on my part. Let's go to back. I had, my, I had three as set to a tenure verter, and I had it at that top dead center. So if I move down, there you go. Now we're getting our three. There you go. And if I was to bring in another one, like if I brought in my saw wave into there, it would be number three would be a sum of those two. If I haul at this guy, it's a sum of all three. You see, so now it's just a sum of two and three. Take that off, it's a sum of one, two, and three. So it gives you lots of options. And you know, if you have an LFO and you're trying to find an LFO, an interesting LFO pattern, um, you it, it's this is a good way to do it. Now, I... I did a piece of music recently where I needed, um, I was trying to do whale sound, and I needed a very gentle, ununiform LFO, and I was able to use this sort of approach to make a nice little LFO that was crossing over between three different LFOs, three different sine waves, different frequencies and amplitudes, but I was able to use an attenuverter to, um, to make that all not so uniform. It, came, it worked out really nicely. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is the quad VCA right here. Now, um, quad VCA. Now, this is a VCA. Uh, there isn't a lot of magic in this one, I have to say. It's a VCA. So if I plug in to one um, and I go out to my, uh, there we go, and I turn up my volume, uh, there you go. So it's a VCA. Now, uh, and the same deal happens. This is daisy chained as well. <clears throat> so if I go into number, well, if I, yeah, if I go into number two and I go out of number two into here, you'll see that I have a saw wave. But if I go down to the bottom here and I take this guy off, it's daisy chained. You see that? And you can see the lights show that too. So that it's a sum of all of those. And again, if I plug it in, if I plug in number one, I'll get the input for number two. If I take over another input, put it into here then I will enter my volume up. My um, two and three will then show up down here in this out. So it daisy chains down. But if I do have number one plugged in, it will bypass and it will just give me the, the out and that won't affect the others. So there you go. It's a, it's a nice little VCA. I have to say, I like this one a lot. I haven't used it a lot, but I think I will because it, I think it, it has some nice features. This daisy chaining I really like. And the other option too I want to tell you about, and this is very common in all VCAs, uh, well, maybe not in this format, but you can go um, you can go linear and you can go exponential with your uh, your control voltage input. Um, you can do that on a lot of um, of these, but um, this one lets you do it gradually. You can morph between the two, which is really cool. In fact, I don't know if I have a VCA that allows me to do that. I have to go back and look, but I don't know if I do. This is nice. I like that. So I'm sure that can have its uses. Okay, there you go, quad VCA. Let's unplug these guys. I hope you're enjoying these great audible instruments, mutable instruments, um, modules. They're very cool. Quad VCA polarizer. Now we already saw one attenuverter. We are, our mixer is a, an attenuverter, as well. This is as well. So let's just go in here. We'll bring in number one. We go out to our, um, and, and you know, you, you'll probably say, Bucky, why are we just doing, why are we doing three modules in one tutorial? Well, the reason why is because there's a lot of what you already know in this. You don't need me to tell you all kinds of things you already know. So um, I don't. Um, this These modules um, have a lot of things in common with each other. So um, I can basically skim over very quickly without having to do multiple tutorials. So here we go. This is an attenuverter. I can, by going to the right, I can increase. It looks to like a times one. Uh, some attenuverters, like the 
uh, I'm going to say the Bifaco attenuverter. Um, one, uh, no, that's not the attenuverter. Um, I, I want to check now because I'm curious. Oh no, is a, a here you go. This is an attenuverter. This attenuverter right here. This is a um, Bifaco uh, attenuverter. This one, when you plug into B1, it's actually a times two attenuverter. So if you actually cranked it all the way down here, it would double the amplitude and vice versa if you go all the way down it would double the negative amplitude this attenuverter here the white attenuverter for c this is a single it's only times one this one here that we're looking at by audible instruments this is a times one it's not a times two times two is great if you want to really boost the um the uh, if you really want to boost the amplitude uh, but you can get some clipping for sure this is a times one okay so it's an attenuverter on each of the four channels and like the others they daisy chain down so if I get rid of that guy and I take it and take an in to here you'll see that these are all daisy chained down so now the Y I'm get rid of the X the Y is a, um, a sum of all um, three inputs well, if it would be four, if I may throw on a square wave here into four. Now it's probably, oh, I'm going to turn this guy up. I'll turn him down. Um, now it's the sum of all. And look at that crazy wave. You could do some really cool things with this. Um, I love a good LFO, as you know. And I love things that manipulate LFOs. So, because I don't like, I don't like patterns. I, I like things to be more random. So, um, things like this can do some really cool things with it. You know, it's really exciting. If you ran two LFOs in different frequencies and all kinds of things and phasing, you could get some really cool effects. So let's recap and unplug these so there's no confusion. Get these guys out of there. Actually, I could have done it easier, but that's okay. So we started with our mixer. The mixer is an attenuverter and a um, standard old volume, you know, standard, standard old VCA. Or, well, actually, it's not a VCA, it's a mixer. So um, attenuator and an attenuverter. So that's that guy, and it daisy chains down. Remember that, because same with all of these. Quad VCA, it's a VCA. Um, we have, we can go, um, we can morph between uh, linear and exponential in our input for um, the, the uh, control voltage. Okay, and the next, actually, which is right here. I pulled the wrong one. This is the control voltage input right here. We didn't talk about that, but again, this is pretty standard. Uh, the last one, quad VC polarizer this is an attenuverter and uh, and as we know with all attenuverters you go to the left it's a negative go to the right is positive um, and uh, we can control the amount of CV control just like on all modules we see and once again this daisy chains down so if you don't take an out on the one the two the three it will sum to a lower it will sum these very cool very cool little option like that so there you go. These are the uh, modules by Audible Instruments which is right here. So there are lots of Audible Instruments ones and they're great documentation because the manuals for these are the manuals for mutable instruments which are very detailed, lots of great information. And once again, it's open source. Love it. Got to love it. The open source hardware, I mean, you know, the, all these modules I've been reviewing or tutorials on are open source, but uh, uh, mutable instruments is is open source hardware. Very cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, be sure to go to uh, BCV Rack and and uh, and uh, show your support for the developers who developed these these uh, modules and the entire platform. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your music, and I will see you next time.